Hello and welcome to In Awe of Elohim. On today, my precious, beautiful daughter of the living God, on today, my precious son of the living God, Elohim Hayim, I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I want to take the time to talk with you about Psalms 83 and verses 6 through 8. Now, Psalms 83 is the Psalms that the Lord God gave to my son, specifically verse 4. Uh, uh, verse 4 says, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, <laughs> that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. See, those who hate God, they in essence hate you. If you are a child of God and you love God, they, I remember when the enemies of God came up against me, I remember one Sabbath, I was sharing with this sister what they had done. And she said to me, who is they? And at the time, I was like, they, you don't know who they are? Now, as we get ready to read verses six through eight, I will let you know who they are. They are the enemies of God. They are the reproach of the true and living God. They are the seeds of the serpent, the offspring of the devil. They are the descendant of the nations of the heathen, those who hate God, those who hate God and hate his children. So my precious son, Joseph, my precious daughter, Faith, and all my precious children in my ministry in awe of Elohim, and for the blood of Christ, today I'm here to tell you that here in Psalms 83, the nations who are the heathen, the offspring of those who hate God, uh, God is getting ready to do what his woman servant has instructed him to do in Psalms 83. And later on in the week, we will get to what God is saying to do. So today, my precious children, I'm here on this, the first day of the month of September. September is known as the month of birth, the month at the full culmination of term. This is when a woman such as I uh, gives birth after uh, nine months have passed, three trimesters have passed, uh, three periods of three months each. And here in the final trimester, at the culmination, a woman would give birth here in the month of birth, here in the month of new life, here in the month of delivery. Oh, praise God. The Lord God has said to me, Grace, you gave birth to four children. And now what do we have? We have here the seeds of the devil, the nations of God haters, the, the offspring of the seed of the serpent, the heathen have uh, taken a reproach uh, against the true and living God, Yahweh. You know, I've been uh, uh, studying the word of God and the Lord has been bringing me into deeper meditation and deeper intimacy with him. And the Lord has reminded me in Psalms 9 that the children of the devil, the seeds of the serpent, they will know by his work that they are but men. Oftentimes, I've wondered, like King David has, who do these people, who do these offsprings of the devil think they are? Well, chapter 9 says, they will know that they are but men. They don't seem to understand that they are but men. That's all we are. We are only made from dust and from dust we shall return. So when a child of the devil comes up against God by way of 
harming a child of God, the Lord God reminds me that they are but men, which means uh, the same breath that goes through my nostril and down my windpipe, it's the same way that those seeds of the devil breathe. It's the same way that their blood flows through their body. The living God, Yahweh, has reminded me today as I study this passage, Psalms 83 verses 6 through 8, about the 11 nations of the seed of the devil that have taken a reproach against the true and living God and against my precious son Joseph and against my precious daughter Faith. The true and living God is, he knows who they are. And later on in Psalms 83, he's about to do what his woman servants say. So on today, my precious children, I am here to pray with you and I'm here to praise the Lord because I know that what he has spoken, he is able to perform. I know that what he has said, he will bring it to pass. I know that none of his words shall return unto him void. I know that every word that the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach has spoken, it shall accomplish what he please. And I know with every fiber of my being that here in this month of delivery, the Lord God will get him glory upon the heathen. The Lord God will get him vengeance and he will deliver you, my precious children, because those seeds of the serpent, they are but men. They are but men. And I will tell of what the Lord has done in a great and mighty congregation and all my generation my children and my children's children and my children's children children shall hear of what god did just like he did for moses and the children of israel the lord god will do it for you my precious daughter faith and for you my precious son joseph i know it have been showed it and I know that God is faithful so just wait it is coming it is at the door it is here it is like a woman giving birth and today as the rain fell I said to my daughter I said this is the month of delivery it's like I can remember it like it was yesterday all four of my children when it came time for them to be born i could tell when my water broke and it was time my babies were coming out and there was no holding them back oh my god i will say to you today my precious children God will not hold back <laughs> when the judgment of the Lord is released upon the seeds of the devil, upon the offsprings of the serpent, upon the nations of the heathen who have reproached the true and living God. It is like a woman giving birth. There's no stopping it. Once that water breaks, that baby or those babies are coming. There's no going back. And that is what uh, today as the blessing came down from heaven, the Spirit of God said to me and I said to my daughter, Addie, this is like uh, the Lord is giving us an object lesson. The Lord is saying here in this month of birth, in this month of delivery, hallelujah, the rain is like the water break. It's like the woman getting ready to deliver on this, the first day of the month of delivery. Oh my God, the Lord God spoke to me as we walked through the parking lot and said, Grace, this is it. This is what I'm talking about. See, I serve a risen Savior. And when he speaks a word, it shall come to pass. 
There's no if, ands, or buts about it. There is no judge in earth. There's no social worker in earth. There's no psychologist in earth. There's no vile, wretched counsel in earth. There's no one who can stand against the word of God. The Lord God said, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Those who have come up against me one way, the Lord God says in Psalm 79, he said, the reproach wherewith they have reproached you, I will send it back into their bosom seven folds, seven folds, a perfect number, seven times their own reproach will be returned into their own bosom because God is fair, God is just, God is righteous, and God is long-suffering, but he will not at all acquit the wicked, vile, wretched seeds of the devil. He has spoken a word, and his words are yes and amen. So, my precious children, before I read for you what these three verses say, I want to pray for you. I want to give God the praise. I just want to thank him for what he is about to do in your life, my precious missing children. A most holy Father God, Yahweh, today as the rain fell from the heavens and as you reminded me in Isaiah 55 verses 10 and 11, as the rain and the snow cometh down from heaven, and return it not thither, but waterest the earth, that it may bring forth fruit and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall your words be which goeth forth out of your mouth. It shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish what you please, and it shall prosper, Father, in the thing whereunto you have sent it. Lord Yahweh Yeshua HaMashiach, you have sent your word unto my son Joseph, unto my daughter Faith. Lord God, your word says in Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 15, 16, and 17. Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping, grace weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children. Thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping, grace, and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, and they, the Joseph, Joseph and faith shall come again from the land of the enemy that are Kentucky. And there is hope in thine end, said the Lord, that your children, that is Joseph and faith, shall return unto their own border. I am my children's border, Yahweh. You saw it fit to give me my son and my daughter. They came from my womb. They came out of my loins. I bore the birth pains. I had the water break. And then you said, let it be my children, Lord God, that you gave me. I taught them about you, Lord God. And what do we have here? The Philistines uncircumcised in the heart and the flesh. They have come up against your inheritance. They have taken your children captive. They, Lord God, has bore false witnesses. They, Lord God, has lied up and down the courthouses of New Hampshire and New York and Kentucky. Those vile seeds of the devil has bore false witnesses against me and they stole your children from me. Children that you gave me. Now, what do you have here, Lord God, that the seeds of the devil have reproached you? They have stood up against you, Father, my precious son, my precious baby girl, children whom I taught of you, children whom, Lord God, were raised to fear God, children who love God, children, Lord God, who have the fear of God in their hearts and the 
faith of Jesus Christ in their mind. These seeds of the devil that are written in Psalms 83 verses 6, 7, 8, they have caused your children to howl all the day and your name is being blasphemed. Lord God, they have said, who is this God? We know not your God. Your belief in God is foolishness. Now, Lord God, you stand it in the great and mighty congregation. You judge it amongst God. Lord, how long will you judge unjustly? How long will you cause the poor and needy to suffer affliction at the hand of the vile, wicked RRD, the vile seeds of the devil, the vile, wretched heathen? How long, Lord God, will you allow these 11 nations of heathen to triumph over you, to reproach you, to mock you, to ridicule you. Lord, how long will you, Lord, not listen? How long will you not move, Lord? Arise, O oh God, in this month of deliverance and do vengeance. Avenge the blood of your children. Avenge the mental health of your children. Avenge, Lord God, the physical health of your children. Avenge your name, Father God. Avenge your word, Lord God. Let it be according to what your word says in Jeremiah 31 verses 15, 16, 17. Let it be, Lord God, according to what is written in Psalms 83, Psalm 79. Ha ha, Lord God Almighty, according to what is written in Psalms 9, Psalms 10, Psalm 73, Psalms 23, Psalm 72. Let it be according to your word. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the honor, we give you the praise, for we ask it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Rosho tore satama shuraka, robo shokoto, resa tora di shikete, hallelujah. Robo koshoto, Michele nael, Raviela cavayelo, kurebo shata, yama kotoroso koto kete thoella, tizioella, javayella, naiella, Lord God. God Almighty, let it be according to Archangel Gabriel. Lord God Almighty, let it be according to the angel of the Lord. Let the angel of death pursue the seeds of the serpent. Let the angel of death overtake them. Let them be like a wheel. Let them be like a stubble before the wind. Robo shokoto, Yeshua hamashia, imele mela uye kaka, uye kirua, imele mela ezimo, e Yashua, robo shokoto rasatura, kebo shala kato sete, Masho lobo koshoto samo kore shakata Yashua hamashia Mikeli naela Ketetho ela tizio ela Kavancho tolu samakata Yashua hamashia Eko robo koshoto Rashama sutolo Hosei fei Ereko bo shalakatura Ya Yashua hamashia Get your glory upon the wretches Get your glory upon the seeds Of the devil get your glory Lord Lord God upon the RRD. Get your glory upon those who are involved in the theft of my babies. Lord God, here in this month of deliverance, uh, let it be according to what you have shown your woman servant. Uh, let your words come to pass. Lord God, for you are not a man that you should lie. Let it be, Lord, according to what thus saith the true and living God. Let it be like Elijah said, Lord, if God be God, serve God. And if Baal be God, serve Baal. Rosh Rakabo Shataya, a holy fire from the Holy Ghost. Sorokobo Shata, Yeshua Hamashia. Let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Let the sword of the Lord overtake them. Let the Lord divide the enemies asunder in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. Hallelujah and amen, 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 amen. My dear children, 
I'm going to take five minutes, only five, and I'm going to teach you how to identify ha, 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 the, the enemies of God. Uh, these 11 tribes, uh, here is where God named them. These 11 tribes, there are more tribes, but these 11 tribes are the ones involved in your theft. These 11 tribes are the one involved in the conspiracy, the tabernacles of Edom. Oh my God. God, ha ha ha, and the Ishmaelites. You think about who the Ishmaelites are. These are the offsprings of Ishmael. Interestingly, Ishmael was the was the firstborn son of Abraham that he had with the with the with the lady there out of Egypt, known as uh, 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 Hagar. So Ishmael had a special blessing on him, but over time they walked away from serving the true and living God and they went after other gods. They went after Baal. So the Ishmaelites, then you talk about the Moabites. The Moabites were of the offsprings of Lot children. Talk about incestuous wretches. I can identify them. There are several of them in there that are based on incest. They are birth based on incest. Uncles, brothers, all, all wretched father, grandfather, cousins, their birth, they're in this world based on being offspring, descendants from incestuous relation, incestuous, oh God, vile, nasty wretches. So that's what happened. Noah got out, not Noah, um, Lot. Lot was taken out of um, Sodom, Sodom and, and Gomorrah. And Lot only had two daughters. And without realizing that there's other people in the world still, there's other people than what's in Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. He got drunk. Guess he was depressed. He got drunk. And he got drunk and he slept with his two daughters. Nasty, nasty, nasty wretches. When you get to that level, you realize that you've turned your back on God. When you can molest your own children, your own offspring, you know that you are a seed of the devil. So that's the nation of the Moabites. That's where the children of the Moabites descended from, from one of Noah's um, own daughter being pregnated by their father. Then you have the Hagarenes. Oh my God, Hagar, the slave that was given to, to, to Abraham, the Hagarenes. These are the offsprings of Hagar people. Then you have Gibal and Ammon. Ammon is the other daughter of, of, of Lot's, um, Lot's other daughter. The Ammonites are the offsprings of of, of, of that incestuous situation. Then you have the Amalekites, oh my God. Then these were like giants, big, tall, ugly. These were the Amalekites, ha ha ha. Then you have the Philistines, those were the uncircumcised God haters. They would curse the name of the living God. This is of the, the, the this is the tribe, the nation that David slayed their, their giant. Their giant Goliath of the Philistines, Goliath of Gat. So you see some of them, they're powerful. They have power in this earth. They're big and tall and pompous. They walk around with their arms and their chest out like a peacock. These are the Philistines, proud. They got wealth. They got power in this world. Those are those vile, wretched judges, the Philistines. Then you got the inhabitants of Tyre. Those are the ones that are um, uh, in there with them of the, of the nations of Tyre. Oh my God. <laughs> These are the ones that we call the Oreo. They're black on the outside, but white on the inside, full of dead man's bone. These are the Tyre, the, the inhabitants of Tyre. Then you got Ashur. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the one that don't even know what they hold to. One day they're hot. One day they're cold. One day they're for right. Next day they're for wrong. They are up in the air. Don't have a biding place as my mother would say. Then you have the children of Lot. Oh God. Selah. The Lord said meditate grace. Meditate on this. Meditate on this. Meditate on this. That's a whole 
bunch of enemy. But I love this song by Sister Victoria. She say, let them gather, cause they will scatter. Let the devil and his seed gather, cause they will scatter. They come up against me one way, but they shall flee seven ways, say the living God. Let them gather, they will scatter. Cause when my God steps in, he levels the plain field. These seeds of the devil, these enemies of God have, oh my God, reproached the living God. Cause see, God said, I will strive with those who strive with you and I will fight against those who fight against you. Anyone who dare fight against a child of God, you wretched, foolish heathen, you are fighting against the living God, the one who allows you to be alive. The Lord God says to us, his children, he says, I am reminding them, they, I'm reminding them that they are but men. They need to know they are but men. And God is about to show himself mighty in the army of the 11 nations that have come up against my children, that have come up against the living God, that have come up against me. The Lord God says, you are but men meaning who in the world do you think you are who do you think you are a, a, a lawyer once told me she said grace i don't think that vile counsel sleeps unless she goes unless she knows that she has caused some harm to you today i don't think she sleeps i say really and then Three years later, the Lord led me to that text. He said, the wicked does not sleep unless they have caused a child of God to stumble. But let me tell you something, vile, wretched, vilery, and all of you all seeds of the devil, the Lord God has shown me that your end is near because when the angel of the Lord shows up, you will reap seven times what you have sown. I didn't say that. The word of God said it in Psalms chapter 79. He said, you will reap seven folds the reproach that you have reproached the living God with. You shall reap seven folds what you have caused against me and my children. So as of today, in this day of deliverance, in this beginning of the month of deliverance, I just know and understand that God is faithful to his word and every word that is spoken must come to pass, shall come to pass, will come to pass because God's word cannot return unto him void. And so, in closing today, my precious son, Joseph, in closing today, my precious daughter, Faith, I'm here to remind you that God will do what he said because he is faithful. And you just continue to praise the name of God. Sing a song in your heart. The Lord is good and his mercy is in endure it forever. It's been a long time coming. The Lord has given the seeds of the devil 1,227 days to repent. Think about it. That's over three and a half years. The Lord has given them time to repent of their wicked, evil, vile ways. But the Lord God is now saying, I have arose. I have gotten up and I have come down to see that the cry of my children is really what I'm hearing up here. Because God has to be just. God has to be fair. God has to be righteous. And he will weigh the seeds of the devil in the balance. And they have been found wanting. They have been found wanting. And so today, my precious son, Joseph, today, my precious daughter, Faith, I'm going to be right here when the call comes in and I'm going to be right there in Kentucky to receive you. I'm going to be right there to receive you because I brought you into this world. God gave me you. 
I gave you back to God and God is no longer silent. The word of God says in Psalms 83 verse 1, Keep not thou silent, O God, hold not thou thy peace and be not still. So, as the Lord gave you this chapter, Joseph, I now have gone up before the throne room of God and I've said to God as it's written in chapter 9 of Psalms, Lord, how long will thou judge unjustly? How long will thou judge in the congregation of all these mighty men, all these mighty nations? How long will you judge unjustly and allow the seeds of the devil, these 11 nations of the devil, to run amok in your children's life. When they attack us, they attack God. When they attack God, they attack us. See, what the devil don't realize is that God has already won the war. These little skirmishes, these little battle, we still win. They may look like they have won for 1,227 days, but the Lord God has heard my cry. And he said, Grace, you better stop crying. You better stop weeping because I have heard you. And my promise to you is yes and amen. Your children are coming back and you declare it. You tell me what you to do. The Lord God said, who can instruct the Lord? No one but the righteous. I have been tried. I have been weighed in the balance. My hands are clean. My heart is pure. I hold no malice against the seed of the devil. But one thing I can tell you is this, vengeance is the Lord and he's about to repay you back seven times. The sneer that you have set, the pit that you have dug, the Lord has shown me that you yourself will fall into that pit. But that pit is now seven times deeper. That snare is seven times more deadly because God will not be mocked. And who do those seeds of the devil think they are? They are but men. They are but men. Oh, praise God. The Lord God says, these 11 nations that have come up against you, they are but men. They need to know they are but men. Oh, praise God. My precious children, today, the beginning of the month of delivery, I just want to praise God for what he has done, for what he is doing, and for what he is about to do. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the things that God has in store for you, for me, his children. So rest in that, my precious son, Joseph. Rest in that, my precious daughter, Faith, because God is Yah. God is Yeshua. God is the Spirit. God is in charge. And so, as his child, we rest in that. We rest on his promises. Oh, praise God. Father, I thank you. I give you the praise and the honor. I give you the glory that as we start this month of deliverance, you have spoken. You have heard your children's cry. You, O oh God Almighty, will deliver according to what you have spoken. Your word shall not return unto you void. I ask right now for your warring angels, the host of the archangel, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Nael, Tithuel, Ketithuel, Havael, Lord God Almighty, I ask that they surround my children and all the hosts, the seraphims, the cherubims, the, oh God, the elders, the, the 24 elders, the beast, the four beasts, and Lord God, all the 
chariots of fire. Lord God Almighty, that as you ready your army, Lord God, uh, to touch down in Kentucky, Lord God, to touch down in New York, uh, to touch down in New Hampshire, to touch down in Illinois, to touch down in Ohio, to touch down in Venezuela, to touch down in Florida, to touch down in Jamaica, to touch down, Lord God, in Massachusetts, uh, to touch down, Lord God, God in New York, every single place, everywhere my children's feet and their names have been mentioned. Lord, you will get you your glory upon the evil, demonic, wretched seed of the devil. And Father God, the whole world will know that you truly are the great and living God. There is no one like you, great and mighty, Oye Kerua. There is no one like you, Elion, the tribu, Judah. So right now, Father God, we just give you the praise. We give you the glory. We thank you for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing here in this month of deliverance. We bless your name. We tread upon the serpent. We tread upon the scorpion. We crush the head of the scorpion. We crush the head of the snake. We come against them in the name of Jesus by the blood and by the word and by the spirit of the living God. And Father God, we know that you will be glorified. Get your glory, Lord God, so that all men may know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah art the most high God in all the earth. My God, my God, precious minor children, great tone evil, he then, great tone wicked, wretched man and women, let them know that thou alone is God over all the earth. We thank you, Father God, we bless you, we glorify you, whirlwind of the living God. Let your power be known, whirlwind of the living God. Let your glory be known. Get your glory, Lord God, upon the Hagarines. Get your glory upon the uncircumcised Philistines. Get your glory, Lord God, upon the Moabites, upon the Ammonites. Get your glory upon the Edomites. Get your glory upon the inhabitants of Tyre. Get your glory upon upon the Assyrians. Get your glory, Lord God, upon the children of Lot. Get your glory, Lord God, upon the Ishmaelites. Get your glory, Lord God, upon all the heathen who have reproached you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for hearing. We thank you for answering. We ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ, and we say hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen, amen, amen. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul. And worship his holy name. Yes, I. I will worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, and worship his holy name yes my dear keep praising god keep worshiping god keep believing in god because he is faithful amen i love you and god loves you more amen